destroying the military, destroying the family, destroying the church, destroying the whole meaning of Judaism. Is that what you mean by how do you get through a day? Yeah, I, I, I see it. And I, 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 I feel... I know you see it as an 18-year-old. You, you, are, you are facing double-barrel shotguns filled with this, these lead pellets of hatred from the sickos who are running the schools. You're asking me a question for which the answer is already built into it. I face it by talking about it on the radio. My question is, how do you face it when you have no one to express it to, right? Right, right. All my, yeah, but, I, um, I'm not going to ask you for, I'm not going to ask you for examples of what it is that has you agitated because I pretty much can tell you it's the schooling that you're getting around you, correct? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so what, so uh, what, what do you do to, what do you do to cope? Well, um, I, uh, I'm actually going through a, a bit of a phase. I, I'm starting to kick away the hobbies that I've done, and I'm trying to focus on finding a job that can sustain me and my family that I want to create um, eventually, probably in the next couple what, of years. What, at 18 years of age, you're going to look for a job for, a, for the rest of your life? Well, education for a job, a career. All right. All right. So let's back up. Are you in school right now? Yes, I go to uh, community college. And what are you studying, a general community college? Degree. All right, good. That's a starting point. And do you hope to go to a so-called four-year college to listen to the anti-American, anti-male, anti-Christian screed that passes for liberal arts education today, or are you going to skip that? I, I, I want to skip it. However, I, um, I, that's kind of so where you, my... You, need to, you need to focus on a technical degree. Why don't you just go and get a technical degree in something real and useful instead of something put out that is a nothing but a piece of paper with pollution on it? All right, that's the end of that. I have nothing more to say to them. 855-400-7282, michaelsavage.com, Government Zero, the book. Do I have any lifestyle questions? I have lots of them. I don't know if I even want to talk about that. I don't want to talk about politics. I don't want to talk about life. I think I need a vacation. I think I'm going to take tomorrow off. That's what I'm going to do. I don't care about this anymore. Right now, I don't care. It's like something happened over the weekend in my head. You know why? Well, there's a hundred reasons why. They signed a climate agreement that has no meaning whatsoever and congratulated themselves on it. That's number one. Idiots. Then the moron today gives a speech about ISIS and a new plan against ISIS. That mean He sounded like he didn't even mean it. Not one word that he mumbled had a meaning. Nothing. Did you listen to him? We have it. Trump says I'm the opposite of a demagogue. I want to make our country safe again. I'm tired of hearing that. I, I don't want to hear platitudes from anybody. Norman Lear says this. Donald Trump says that. Obama lists the ISIS leaders killed. Tells those living you are next. Really, he's, he's naming them? Oh, okay. Let's hear clip 17. Maybe I'll feel better. We are hitting ISIL speak. harder than ever. Coalition okay. aircraft, our fighters, bombers, and drones have been oh, we heard this. increasing the pace of air strikes. This is the one where it sounded like he was cleaning his teeth at the same time. Sounded like he had a toothpick in between his teeth. Uh, okay. Chris on WJR, what's on your mind, Chris? Hey, I just... Well, I appreciate it very much, but I don't promote anyone else's show on mine. Let them promote their own show. I'm glad Lou has such a uh, a strong uh, fan base. They want to calling other shows to promote him. I guess he's desperate for uh, for ratings. He tries to use my show. Who is Lou Dobbs? I never heard of him. Doesn't he have a, a restaurant called Dobbs Kitchen somewhere in, in New York? They serve uh, corned beef and, and bologna. Corned beef and bologna. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Your Savage Nation is sponsored by SwissAmerica.com. It's the only company I trust for tangible assets, gold and silver. Call 800-B-U-I-C-O. So in New York, homeless squatters are taking over LaGuardia Airport. Uh, bums are sleeping all over the airport. It looks like a cesspool, like a third-world cesspool under de Blasio. And th this doesn't catch your eye outside of New York when you see what liberalism actually does. The face of liberalism is expressed here of bums uh, defecating, urinating on the floor, literally going to the bathroom 
in LaGuardia Airport in New York and showering naked, competing with people who are trying to fly somewhere, and they do nothing. The police are not permitted to arrest them. This is the face of liberalism. And if you think Detroit was bad, and if you think that Baltimore was bad, you're correct. But that's the face of America if this is not reversed. It's that simple. It's the face of America. Unless this is reversed, all of America will go down the tubes the same way. So let's see the front page of the newspapers. Uh, I'm afraid to even look at them. Here, New York Post, Ryan flying. It's a guy with a ball in his hand. I don't even know what sport it is. Hit and run hero. Okay. Nothing about killing uh, handicapped children by ISIS. Nothing about executing them with a lethal injection. Nothing about uh, the women who are being raped at age eight and seven by ISIS until they bleed to death. That didn't make it to the news. Oh, wait a minute here. Most New Yorkers don't want Syrian refugees in the U.S., poll says. How'd that get in? How'd that get into the paper? Most New Yorkers don't want Syrian refugees in the United States, poll says. 50% of voters in the United States say they oppose opening doors to Syrian migrants, while 39% said they would let them in. I would say that all the good liberal brainwashed children in New York should be asked if they would take a Syrian refugee in their own house for 90 days so that we in America who are mean-spirited right-wingers can see how that works out. Get back to us after 90 days and tell us how it worked out. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. ISIL also continues to lose territory in Iraq. <laughs> ISIL had already lost across Kirkuk province and at Tikrit. More recently, oh. ISIL lost at Sinjar, oh. losing a strategic oh. highway. ISIL lost yeah. at Baji with its yeah. oil refinery. We yeah. saw during raid the daring raid supported by our special Listen forces, which rescued dozens chief. of prisoners from ISIL, and in which Master yeah. Sergeant Joshua Wheeler made the ultimate sacrifice. Okay. So far, ISIL has lost about 40%. Right, you get the picture. Of Lackluster throwaway speech about how great the war is going. No one believes a word he says. And by the way, whatever little war he's fighting is only because of Putin anyway. Had Putin not raised the stakes and really taken on these monsters, Obama would be doing nothing as he had been doing for two years. Nothing, and yet he wants to destroy, uh, he wants to destroy Russia along with Assad. This is crazy. To, see, this is why it's hard to do a show, because most of you don't follow me. Here's an article I saw on Drudge. Again, it's food-related because I eat a lot of food. Do you eat food? I eat food three times a day or more. Supermarkets selling shrimp peeled by slaves. Another problem. Another problem. Now, I go for a shrimp now. I have to feel guilty. AP, global supermarket selling shrimp peeled by slaves. And it's about poor slaves who rip out the guts, heads, tails, and shells off shrimp. And it's poor, innocent Thai uh, people from the countryside working in a shrimp peeling factory. Well, admittedly, it's a horrendous job. But here's the question. When these lunatics in the Associated Press kill the shrimp industry, tell me what these poor people who are now peeling shrimp are going to do for a living. They won't have a job peeling shrimp. So they want to work peeling shrimp in an equally brutal factory. This is the problem with liberalism. They don't know what they're talking about. AP journalists followed and filmed trucks loaded with freshly peeled shrimp from the gig shed to major Thai exporting companies and then using, you hear what they wasted their time on? U.S. Customs Records. They're tracking shrimp now. They're not tracking Muslims who are coming here to bomb us like in San Bernardino, but the fearless journalists at the Associated Propaganda Organization are tracking shrimp. And who peels the shrimp? They're not talking about the girls being sold into slavery and being raped to death. No, they're talking about shrimp. They also track similar connections from another fact. Oh, come on. U.S. Customs records show that the shrimp made its way into the supply chains of major U.S. food stores and retailers. Then they name the food stores that have them when it's everyone who has the same shrimp. But they target Walmart, Whole Foods, Red Lobster, and Olive Garden. Why did they pick on them when all the shrimp come from slave shrimp peelers? It also entered the supply chain of some of America's best-known seafood brands, including 
Chicken of the Sea, and Fancy Feast, which are sold in Safeway to Schmucks, I mean Schnucks, to Piggly Wiggly and Albertsons. Brave AP reporters went to supermarkets in all 50 states and found shrimp products. I'm not making this up. I swear to God. This is what the Associated Press has fallen down to. European and Asian import and export records are confidential. But the Thai companies receiving shrimp tracked by the Associated Press, this is not a parody. This is not a parody. I swear to God, this is what they're doing. They're not tracing Muslims who are coming in to blow us up or to shoot us up. They're tracing shrimp. Abuse is common in Samsut Sakun. An international labor organization report estimated 10,000 migrant children ages 13 to 15 work peeling shrimp. Well, I think there's only one answer, which is to bring them in and give them uh, indoor swimming pools. We should bring in the 10,000 shrimp peelers from Burma, take them out of the evil gig peeling factory, put them on big transports run by, let us say, UPS, who are bringing in the Muslims, on UPS planes that are coming back empty, and uh, bring them into uh, facilities with nice hot pools. They can play soccer. They can uh, do lacrime. And then uh, America will be facing its values again. Because they were illegal workers, the owners constantly threatened. This is an article, like 5,000-word article, 10,000 words about shrimp peelers. This is their big problem. Not about girls being raped until they bleed to death. I keep repeating that till you eventually hear it. There's a saying in advertising that you have to repeat something five times till people actually hear it. Do we have the sound bite, Robert, from Friday, the most important sound of last week that nobody else in radio played that I know of? It came from CNS Media. Now, the man's voice is that in translation. He appeared before U.S. Congress about what ISIS Islamo fascists are doing to young girls. And you have to listen carefully to hear it. Many of you asked where you could hear it. Well, you're going to hear it in a minute. Then it comes out today that ISIS is executing handicapped children. And the Associated Press, though, is bravely tracking down shrimp to make sure the shrimp peeling stops. Listen. Thousands of young, yes, the women, girls, and even children, who, as I speak, have been enslaved and forced into sexual slavery. These girls are subjected to daily multiple rapes by ISIS monsters. According to many escaped women and girls whom I talked to in northern Iraq, the abducted GSD, most human and children number over 7,000. Some of those women and girls have had to watch seven, eight, and nine-year-old children bleed to death before their eyes after being raped by ISIS militia multiple times right, a day. Let's stop right here. I can't listen to any more because the next one's worse where the parents come crying for their little children. They're fed a meal by the ISIS monsters, and then they laugh at them and say, you've just eaten your child, we turned it into a stew. You say they're making it up, right? Why, because Norman Lear didn't tell it to you? Because Obama the liar didn't tell it to you? Because John Kerry the false prophet didn't tell it to you? Infidels, please. Infidels, do you know what real tragedy is? It's not peeling shrimp. It's watching a seven-year-old girl being raped to death in Syria by monsters worse than Hitler. That's what real trouble is. All right, let's take some calls. My calling on the Internet, and I ask for lifestyle questions. I'll try to be Doc Savage, your older brother or your uncle, and no longer exists in America. Uh, Mike, line seven, go ahead. What's your uh, question? Oh, yes. Hi, Dr. Savage. Um, with all that's going on in the world, and especially, you know, the country, uh, how can I, like, try and find hope and inspiration just in everyday things? I've been having a lot of depression and trouble sleeping. Uh, <laughs> just, I'm not laughing at you. You're not alone. I'm just trying to... Maybe that'll help you when you understand that America is depressed because of Jay Johnson, who has failed us in San Bernardino and not been fired, or depressed because Obama's fighting a false war against ISIS, or depressed because these fools sign an, an agreement on global warming that has no meaning whatsoever. Of course there's reason to be depressed. So maybe if you know that there's a reason for your depression, you'll be less depressed? Yeah, I guess. In other words, you're not crazy. Mike, there's reason to be depressed. You're not nuts. That doesn't help you, though, right? People. No, I mean, I try and tell people, and they think I'm crazy. They think it's, you know, 
oh, you're a conspiracy theorist or whatever. Well, all right. Well, maybe you shouldn't listen to talk radio. I mean, maybe you don't want to know the truth. The truth is very depressing. See, in this